Hello everyone, Amod here from the Target Common YouTube channel and this video will be continuation to Karate Framework playlist. In the last video, we created a JSON object within the feature file to use with our Create Airline API. That was the one way. We have another way as well. We can store our JSON payload into an external file and we can read it from there. When we read JSON payload from an external file, then there should be a way so that we can manipulate the values. We should also able to add or remove fields. So in this video, we will learn how can we read the JSON payload from an external JSON file and also how can we update, add or remove the fields from that JSON which is coming from my external file. So first step, I will create a package and I will store my payload there. I will create a new package inside airline itself, new package and I can name it as like payloads. Let me create a new JSON file. I can name it as create airline payload and extension should be JSON. Now I need to read this JSON file into my feature file. Let me duplicate the existing scenario and I can update the description as create an airline with JSON payload from external source. So instead of hard coding the payload here or creating the payload, I am going to read the JSON payload from my file. So for that I can use a star. You can use given when then as well. And we have one API called read. In this API we need to pass the path of my payload file. So let me copy the path. I am going to make some mistakes purposefully here so that you can understand how this path works. So right click on the JSON payload file and copy the path. So first time I am copying the path from content root and here I am passing the path in single code or double quotes. After reading the data using this read method, I need to store the payload into a variable. So I can use a variable. To define a variable, I can use the def keyword, which I have already covered in my previous video. I can name it as like request payload. So whatever content we have in this JSON file, that will be stored in request payload using the read method. Now let me print the request payloads. I can use the star print, use the variable name and let me run this scenario. Okay, so you can see scenario is failing. If you see here, it is saying that we got an error at line number 52, which is here where we are reading the JSON file. If you come down, it is saying that file not found exception. Let me copy this path. We pass this much path, right? And Karate appended some path here. If you see carefully, there is some duplicate path. So what is happening here? Since create airline dot feature file is present in my airline package, which is under examples. So by default, it will start looking for the file in the airline package because this create airline dot feature is present in airline package. That's why you can see that it has appended this path to the path whatever we passed in read method. If you have created the payload package outside of this airline, then you need to use dot dot to go up. So I will suggest you to keep the payload folder within in which your feature file is present. So I will remove till airline and I will just pass pay payload slash create airline payload dot json. Now let me run this scenario again and show you the output. So this time you can see that it is printing the payload from my JSON file. Since ID is hard coded in my JSON, so every time it is going to read the same ID value and my test case will fail because we cannot create the airline with the duplicate ID. So here after reading the data from JSON file, we can change the value. We can manipulate the values. So here I need to change the value of ID so that my airline API should pass. So here to change the ID value, we have one keyword called set. So for that, after reading the JSON data, we need to call the set keyword. For that, I can use star, use the keyword called set. So I need to change the value of key called ID of a JSON which is stored in request payload. So for that, I need to use the quiz payload dot key name, which will be ID. And here you can pass any value, whatever you want. So we are making one mistake here. After using the request keyword, we didn't say that which payload you need to use. So I need to pass the variable whatever we have created above. Let me rerun this scenario. So now you can see we have the updated ID. And if you go to response, it will have the airline created with the given ID. Now suppose I want to remove the ID field because when you are testing this API for different scenarios. So we might have one scenario where we are not passing the ID field. So in that case, we need to remove the ID field. You need to 
understand one more thing here whatever manipulation we are doing here it will not going to be stored in my actual json file it will be as it is after reading the file we are manipulating there after creating the airline successfully another scenario i am going to test where i am not going to pass the id field so for that i can use star and here we have one keyword called remove set is used to set the value of field remove we can use to remove the field so here we need to use the remove keyword and you need to use the variable name because this is holding the entire json object and here i need to pass the key with whatever i want to remove i can pass it and i will use the same steps and we already know that if you don't pass the id then it will it will use some auto generated id and i will change the id because we have already used this id to create an airline i will run the scenario so first time you can see that it has created the airline with the id whatever we have passed for the next step where we have removed the id field you can see it is not taking any id field and after that it is creating one airline with some auto generated id it is also possible that we might need to add some additional keys let's focus on those scenarios now i will duplicate this scenario and from this scenario i will simply create the json payload and show you the output i am not going to call the create airline api so as of now we have this json payload i want to add a new field ceo and there will be a value i have only this much in my json file i want to add this new field after reading the data from my json i need to use the set keyword here we pass the id because id is already present in my json payload but we can pass a new key as well like ceo so what it will do it will check first whether the key ceo is present in my json if it is present then it will set the value if it is not present then it will add the new key to json let me pass the proper value to ceo field let me run this scenario and i am already printing my json data so here you can see it has added a new field ceo suppose if i want to add some nested json means i will have a field called foo inside this foo i am going to have another key called foo1 this is going to hold again another json object here it will be foo2 and the value will be boo one this is like nested json so how can we add we need to follow the same concept we have this key and we had this value so we pass the value we have another new key and this will be the value so we can use the same approach use the set keyword call the variable use the dot pass the new key that is foo and here i need to pass this entire value since this is multi line you can convert this multi line to one line and you can pass it or you can use the triple double quote concept which i explained in my previous video so for that you need to press enter use the three double quotes and within this double quotes you need to pass the value let me run this scenario so now you can see that it has added the new key with the nested json object value now suppose i want to change the value of foo2 from boo1 to boo2 so for that you can simply write the json path whatever we are writing here this is actually json path so here use the star set request payload i need to traverse traverse from where traverse from foo because we have already changed the json so come from foo dot foo1 dot foo2 and the new value will be boo2 let me run this scenario again so here you can see that we have successfully changed the value of nested json we just need to use the json path same way we can add the json array as well suppose i want to have a new key called skills this skills key will hold a json array inside this i am going to have one json object with some keys like subject and value will be java anything you can have and another json object here i can put selenium so the basic concept will be same i need to use the set keyword you need to call the variable name since i need to add a new field which is skills and this skills is going to hold a json array so we can pass this whole or we can pass by index means skills of 0 and use the triple double quotes and pass this value same way we can use the for the another index which will be 1 and here subject value will be selenium either you pass the whole json array content or you can use the index let me run this again so here you can see that it has added one new key skills and it is holding a json array and we have two json objects in the json array so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos 
प्लीज लाइक कमेंट सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर विद अदर्स थैंक यू एवरीवन